Hello, everybody! Today we're gonna see how I draw Fortnite's Zero Point Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe Classified Series. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't wanna watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out for myself, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are gonna stick around, I'm gonna start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Again, it's for myself. This is all for me. You're not gonna see this. And maybe we'll work on that later. Maybe I'll figure out how to give you guys sketches so you can see stuff. But for right now, this is just for me, just to get the placement. And then we can work on something for you guys later. But anyway, um, let's get into the point of this. Have I already done snake eyes? Absolutely I have. Will I draw them at every chance I get? Absolutely I will. Now, uh, I'm sure you know, um, those of you that are watching this, you're here for a reason, you know the whole story behind it, is that, uh, you know, I love the G.I. Joe classified series and I've been drawing them and I'm excited about it. They're hard to get. I may go into a whole rant about the figures, but that's for a different point or a different, a different point in the story. Um, this is about the fact that, that, uh, um, Fortnite teamed up with G.I. Joe to make this this special figure or skin, I guess, depending on where you're coming from, right? I'm looking at it as a figure, you're looking at it as a skin, or maybe we're both looking at it the same way, you know? But the point is, the point is, um, that's why I'm drawing him again, because I, I love drawing the G.I. Joe stuff, I love drawing these characters, and I, I drew them all, like all the ones that are coming out, I drew them all. And so I, I was saying that, well, I guess we're out. I guess there's nothing else I can draw until they make more figures. Uh, I'm sure uh, there's there's rumor about barren blood and stuff like that, you know, so there's going to be more. There's definitely going to be more. But uh, um, until that happens, uh, nothing. You know, I drew everything that was available. So I, I kind of figured it was over. It was done. But... Lo and behold, Fortnite comes up with their figure, or their skin, and that added to stuff I can draw. So, I got super excited, and I uh, I said, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm drawing a, a Snake Eyes um, action figure. Oh, okay, so let's talk about the action figures, too. Uh, they charge $40 for this figure. And uh, I hate hate, hate having to pay that much for a figure because it's already 20 bucks for a figure. And hey, I get it. That's actually pretty cheap for the amount of things that are on it. And plus for the size. Okay, we're, we're getting them cheaper, but the price is going up. Now it's starting to be 22. Now it's starting to be 24. And man, a lot of people can't afford this stuff. You know, this is a, a luxury item. This is a a disposable item it's it's well, not disposable you don't want to throw it away but this is not something that is going to uh, it's not a necessity item is what I'm trying to say and so a lot of people are just buying it for the fun of it and not everybody can afford it and the price is going up and it's going up and and then oh oh and get this and then if you don't get it like when they release it it's gone and and they have not talked about releasing more and it's getting frustrating and don't even get me started about the the uh, um, what do you call it the target oh yeah the target release of of their stuff because target had a huge problem with scalpers and all the stuff would would I'm just gonna go on a rant so they they sold their stuff and they uh, would do a pre-orders their pre-order stuff just disappeared because scalpers just jumped in bought everything and I don't get that I don't get it because I don't see them online I don't see them available maybe I'm just not looking maybe that's what it is I am not gonna buy it from a scalper so I'm not looking and so I guess I get frustrated because I don't see them being sold so I kind of say that. I kind of say, well, no one's even selling them. Why are you doing it? I guess someone is. Maybe someone is out there selling them on eBay or something for a, an outrageous price. But I won't. I won't pay that. And um, so I don't go looking. So so I think it's not. Hang on. Let me think about hands real fast. 
Okay, so I don't think it's 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 available. So I look at it as why are they buying these figures and they're not even selling them again? You know, but maybe someone is. Maybe someone is, and I just I I am not a part of that. But that's exactly the point. I won't take part in that. So it gets frustrating that these figures are just dis disappearing that fast and we don't get to see them. Even more frustrating than that, it's a buyer's market. I get it, that's how things happen. That's how things work, okay? No big deal. What's super frustrating is Hasbro has not come out and said, don't worry, more are coming. Nothing, not one word. And I'm not saying they need to address the scalpers. Again, it is what it is. What happens, happens. And we're never going to get a solution to that, honestly. As, as toy buyers and collectors, we're just stuck with, well, this is what you can get. And this is what's happening, you know? And that's, that's, that's the game. If this is what we're going to play, if this is what we're going to be a part of, well, that's, that's, that's baseball, you know? I'm just going to keep saying that whenever, whenever I'm trying to say, well, that's, that's how it goes. That's baseball, okay? I get that. I get that that's baseball and there's not much you can do. But like I said, it's super frustrating that Hasbro, G.I. Joe collectors, all those teams, whoever, doesn't come out and say, don't worry, we're going to make more. You know, or, you know, we, 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 we know the pre order sold out and none of you have to worry because it's because of the pandemic and we're going to make more. So don't worry. Not one word. So it's super, super frustrating that it seems like we're never getting anything. And again, this is this is a, a first world problem. This is a tiny little thing to complain about considering the, the amount of people that are dying through COVID and that kind of scary stuff that's going on. I know, I know. But again, this is why I'm talking about it here and not about the horrors of COVID. I mean, we we have enough scares in our life. Let's here we're gonna you know, relax a little bit, enjoy a little bit of our time, and uh, talk about the things that, that we, you know, are comfortable with and make us happy and that kind of stuff. So, I can't complain about Star Wars toys, G.I. Joe toys, drawing stuff, because here, it's it's a place to vent. It's a place to, to say what you gotta say, you know? All right. So, that being said, <laughs> this is pretty cool because they're doing like a different uh, uh, take on it, a different, uh, what do you call it, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, a different paint style, I guess is what it is, it's different, you know, because he's all wearing all black, but he's got some grainy mixed in here, that's kind of cool, so I kind of like that, I like the little extras, you know? So I think I'm about ready. Let me just draw a face. I mean, as much as a face as I can draw. Um, it's it's you know it's Snake Eyes, so I don't really have to draw a face. But I have to draw his 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 uh, helmet, right? But I will say this too. This was was a big a big uh, I was gonna say a big excitement, a big surprise that this is even happening because. I talk about this a lot in my Star Wars, uh, Star Wars, in my G.I. Joe drawings too, that I don't know what's happening. I don't know why they're doing this because uh, these just came out all of a sudden and they're, they're, they're awesome. They're ridiculously awesome. I love the design. I love the new uh, things they're trying to do, but there's no explanation. It's like, is there a movie? Is there a game? It's like, what are you guys promoting? What are you guys pushing besides just a toy? Because... There are theories and designs and ideas that you can't just throw toys out there. You have to have a reason. You have to have a reason to promote it, to give it commercialism, to get people to see it, right? So that's what I'm curious about. It's like, what's happening here? What What are you guys doing, you know? Okay, I think I am ready. I think I've got enough drawn here. I'm going to bulk them up just a little bit. I think I've got enough drawn here that I can... I can... Uh, get going with the sketch yeah I just had to bulk him up he was a little too thin okay so I think I'm ready to switch over to the sharpie portion and yeah 
just gotta make sure that's understood the way. Because this arm is bent back. It seems shorter than this one, but because it's bent, like the elbow is here, this one's there, it's just the way he's got it bent that uh, it looks a little odd, but to good in the overall picture. Um, yeah, I think it's good. I'm happy with that. So let's let's let me erase some of these sketch lines, and then we'll switch over to the sharpie. We'll welcome everybody that skipped. But basically, the first lines I throw down. That's me just trying to exactly that. Just get the placement, get the idea of what's going to happen here. And as I get more confident, I start pressing harder, and those are the confidence lines, right? Well, I don't want my sharp. I want my sharpie to stand out. I don't want my pencil lines to stick around. So I lightly erase, and the original sketch lines they disappear. The confidence lines, they stick around, and that's what I'm going to follow. Oops. You know what's, what's not, I'm not confident about? The way I tape my paper down. Um, so, uh, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to do that in life, too. You're going to get rid of your sketchiness. You're going to follow your confidence. And we're going to draw, draw, draw. Okay, I think, I think I'm ready to go. I think I erased enough that you can see the Sharpies and not my pencils. So I say we welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but a pencil finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of my sketch lines and left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. I keep talking about taping this down right, and I still haven't done it yet. So also, if you wanna see more, uh, I don't know what playlist I'm gonna put here yet, G.I. Joe or Fortnite, but there's gonna be more skins you can check out there. But you know what, just go look at the playlist in general because I've done a lot of stuff and chances are, whatever you're looking for, it's probably there. It's probably already been drawn or you can let me know and we'll put it on the list. So I'm gonna get going with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line width much better. I'm gonna start off with his head. And if you want a descript an idea of why I did him or you wanna hear me complain and talk about this stuff, Go back to the other part. Here, we're just gonna get into drawing. So I'm gonna start, you know what? I'm gonna jump in with the Sharpie fine point because normally I do this for the, the eyes and stuff like that. No eyes I'm drawing here. So I'm just gonna start off with this visor. I'm just gonna bring it down like this. Come back up like this. And then I'm gonna draw the little lines in in a second. I just wanted to just kind of get placement and figure out where I am and uh, draw the, the basics of them, okay? So I'm gonna draw the top of his visor coming back down again too. that up here to this part looking good to me now I'm gonna draw the sides of his face so let me see if I can find a different shot yeah that looks about right so it looks like there's like a hood type thing than the mask part so I wonder if that's gonna come off eventually anyway I'm speculating so let's just draw the inside of his jaw then we're gonna do the outside so I'm gonna draw the inside like this it's a little thinner right a little thinner like this come down to his uh, little chin and come up like that and then I'm gonna draw the outside so the outside I'm gonna draw parallel and I'm gonna try to make a hollow like that but if you don't oh well no big deal but I would rather sacrifice the hollowness to get the width looking right so I'm okay with that so I'm gonna come draw the bottom of his chin same thing I'm trying to draw a hollow but it doesn't matter if it doesn't happen now I'm gonna draw the top of his head and he's got like a little seam line in his head so I'm gonna come up here like this. I'm gonna draw a little bump for that seam. Same thing here, a little bump. And then I'm gonna come back and add detail in a second. You'll see. I'm gonna draw the top of his head. Come back down and do that. Now, I'm gonna use this to highlight the uh, the seam that's going down here. And that's why I did that little bump to so show that it's on the surface. You know, it's breaking the uh, the outline. So see, it kind of looks like it's over it. It's on top of it. You know, it's not just a piece that's uh, drawn in like that. You know, I want to make it look like it's breaking the surface. So he's got those lines in his mask. So let's see if we can do this. How about we're gonna do, it, it's supposed to have a line down here connected, but I kind of want to, we're gonna draw one there, 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 and then one in the middle. And so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go up here to this. I'm going to do them like this first, just to kind of get an idea of where it goes. Like that. Then I'm going to draw. I'm a, I'm a better puller than I am a pusher, so I'm going to draw down to this line. Like that. Same thing to that one. Into 
all of them. All right, happy little trees. Oh, I shouldn't do that, sorry. I was trying to make like a Bob Ross joke because I love Bob Ross and I, and I wanna, wanna, um, I wanna say admire, not admire. Um, I want to pay tribute to Bob Ross, but I don't wanna use any words or phrases that will get me sued for copyright infringement, right? Okay, so there's his hood. Okay, so I'm gonna build down from here. Now I've got him in, a, in an awesome, fun position, but that means things are kind of pushed and crunched because he's not just a normal standing position. Our shoulders are raised, things are laying overlap, and so now you're gonna get into this weird, like funky little, things are gonna overlap, okay? So his shoulder, or his, his, uh, his neck piece, I'm gonna go ahead and start here so you see where we are. It's kind of underneath him like this. Okay, because this whole thing is crunched up. And so his uh, vest and whatnot is crunched here, like this. So his shoulder piece is gonna be like that. Or his, not his shoulder piece, his uh, collar piece. His collar piece that goes around him, right? It's kind of underneath his head because he's, he's got his head turned over it, right? And he's got a, like a vest, but again, you can't really see it as well because of the way his arm is bent. So I'm gonna draw his, his uh, shoulder uh, armor piece like this okay and it does have a little bit of I don't want to say tech but like uh, armor armor to it I guess you know like uh, um, edges I guess is the word I'm looking for like that and it's got an edge that goes over here like this where his little Joe star is but um, let's do this here. Let's do this. We're gonna do like a Just to show that it does have a hard edge to it because I like Separating Hard edge versus soft edge, you know, I want it. I want you to see if there's a difference Okay, so this shoulder is here and it's all going this way. So he's got uh, an, a bicep protector piece but he's got a pack over that so sorry It's a long explanation, but the bicep down here and then I'm gonna draw the uh, bicep piece, but I'm gonna stop there because I've got This strap that I'm gonna do with a pack over it. I know this is kind of Crazy, but just hear me out This is gonna go like this and this is gonna come down here and then this is over the Bicep protector piece armor piece Okay, so like that Again, <laughs> a lot of explanation, but the thing is, I like to make sure I draw what's on top first, so when you're drawing what's underneath, you're not drawing through pieces, you know? Like, I wanted to make sure I drew this on top of this armor piece. Does that make sense? That's why I plan stuff like that whenever I'm doing it. Okay, so this is a little pack. I don't know what he carries in it, but he's got it on his, on his arm. You know, maybe he keeps a little doggy snack treats in there or something. Okay, so again, all that's over his bicep, which is going this way, and so that's kind of back behind that, and so that's gonna come down to his uh, the crook of his arm, but as we go into his forearm, there's a, there's a, a protector piece there too. So he's got his elbow piece, his elbow pad, I guess, like this. Didn't, make, didn't mean to make it that much of a sharp edge, but I just like to give it the edge. And then I'm gonna draw his forearm piece, and it's, it's basically the same thing as his forearm, but I'm just letting you know that there's there are separated pieces. Like there's his wrist, forearm, armor, forearmor, down to the forearm edge. There's his wrist, up like that, okay? So that means I can draw his forearm. We're gonna say it kind of goes around like that and his forearm is up like this, okay? I know, I know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pieces on him, there really are. And so I'm just letting you see um, that I, I like drawing stuff on top of itself, but I wanna make sure that you can see that it's on itself. So that's an elbow in there like that. Again, this is cloth, so I'm not worried about that. But I like just explaining why there's different breaks in his arm 
because he's got so much detail and armor, okay? So I'm gonna draw his uh, hand holding his blade up to the thumb like this, but the thumb goes wrapped around, obviously. Come down to the fingers, and he's got the old knuckle grooves like that. And I think he's got like special glove parts that are a little, a little special. And then his knuckles Go ahead and just do something like this, and that's all you can see because of the, the style of them, right? Maybe we'll do like that. You know, just a little something to show that it's it's kind of a round, odd thing, but it's, it's just highlighted, you know? Okay, that's it for the hand. That's all we can see there. So, get ready for this. This is, this is gonna be a little tricky, but just hear me out. So his other shoulder, oh, also, his pack and whatnot, you can't really see. It's coming down here. I'll add the detail in a second. His other shoulder is raised a little bit like this. It's gonna come down. And this piece, you can see that much of, okay? And it attaches to itself right here, and it goes around to uh, his side, like that. But again, this is all you can see because of everything leaning over itself, okay? It's got uh, um, special designs in it, stuff like that. Like there's these rings like this. Same thing, you can't quite see this one here because of the stuff that's in the way, but I'll show maybe what you can see. But it's got like a certain pattern to it that I really like, so I'm gonna highlight a little bit of design style to it, like this. Again, it's a lot of detail, so you don't have to do that. I'm just kind of explaining to you where we are, oh, let me close off his, his little chest right here, where we are with the design of what we can see. Because that's kind of the other trick, is there's only so much we can see anyway, so we can't draw everything, but I want to. You know, I want to draw every single little thing that's on him because it's cool. Okay, let me do this so you see what we're doing too, where we're doing, you see what we're doing too, is let me draw his, his uh, armor like this to his side, down to his stomach. And so I've got him kind of hunched and turned. And uh, let me see if I can find a better picture of his armor inside. Not really. There's one, there's a good one. Um, uh, let's see, so he's got like plates on the side here. Maybe this will help you see where we are. So um, his stomach is like this. And the plates are gonna come down here and do this. And this is his uh, um, costume, uh, what do you call it, uh, armor. Oh, you know what, let me draw the other side. I'm getting ahead of myself, I really am. But I'm just excited about drawing this. That's, that's what it comes down to. Okay. But see how he's turned sideways? Like his armor kinda comes like this. These are his little bice biceps his little abdomen crunch muscles like this, right? The armor, I'm gonna do the plating on it like I did there, just kind of follow the sides, a little piping, like this. That's kind of tucked underneath that one because I've got him kind of bent a little bit. Now, if you could see what I'm doing, he's turned sideways. And so this arm is back behind the rest of his body. So all you can see is this shoulder, like you can see like, like this much of it, right? Because of the way he's bent. And then you're gonna see uh, his, his, uh, his bicep, and then same thing like we did over here, that little pack wrapped around his bicep, okay? And then it goes here to his forearm, the crook of his arm, but this one is bent just a little bit. So you know how when you hold your sword like this, you know, you know how when you hold your sword, <laughs> One arm is a little closer to you because you gotta get it lifted like this. You see what I'm doing? This arm, so this arm is bent a little and so it's kind of foreshortened. So, we can only see so much and we kind of have to accept that, well, it's bent and accept that these bends in the arm are the way it's crunching. It seems silly if I draw that right there, but when you see the overall picture, you're gonna see what I'm talking about, how how he's just hunched over, you know? Um, forearm, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna draw the armor piece coming over just a little bit like this. 
there's a forearm that's bent there's the wrist and the forearm like that so that's what I mean by it's a little short but it's because of the way he's holding his sword so for the pull for the, the wrist for the fist I gotta put it above this one right here so I'm gonna start to draw the fingers the knuckles like this I guess I'm, I'm following my sketch so I'm kind of all over the place but I have this all planned out all right here's his fingers and I'm gonna add more detail in a second I just want to explain to you why I'm putting things where I'm putting them and then there's his uh, the meat of his hands like this like that and so you see now how it seems a little short but it's because of the way this arm is bent in the position we took it it kind of you kind of have to sacrifice a little bit of realism for realism you know okay so that being said we're gonna say that uh, bends and folds in that material this we're gonna say there's a strap going across here holding it there's another one down here holding it and then this is this piece right here his little uh, um, wrist piece I guess is the best way to say it and I said I was gonna put more detail in this hand but look I guess we really don't need to you know it's it's kind of already there let's add those bumps those knuckle bumps that we did over there because it's kind of self-explanatory again once you put it all together it's done it, it makes sense it's there you know uh, let's see how about let's hold his sword out okay so I'm gonna put the sword just a little bit I've already sketched out where it's gonna go like the 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 uh, um, direction so I just kind of need to follow through and so I'm gonna say that the blade or the uh, the handle Kind of comes up like this, disappears to the back, and then I'm going to uh, draw the intricate little, and I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to free freestyle it because I'm not worried about messing with the ruler right now. I'm just going to do like this, bring it in a little bit, and then I'm going to try though. I'm going to try to get it straight. So then I'm a puller more than I am a pusher, so I'm going to start here and come down. And I'm not worried about it if it's not straight. I'm going to try, but I'm not worried about it. There, I like that, looks good to me. Then the tip curves a little, comes out like this just a little, and then we're gonna come right back in and go straight down, okay? There, and straight down. And see, just eyeball it. And it's good for me, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna make a better point there, but now that I know the direction, I'm just gonna come down here and draw a little bit of a handle, like that. Ooh, yeah. Awesome, how's yours coming out? Awesome, okay, so again, I'm gonna put a little bit of a point because these sharpies they say fine point but it's not made for small stuff like this so I kind of add a little bit of extra something like this a little bit of detail and then we're gonna say that there's a an edge line coming down like that there we go awesome okay so now I need to draw the rest of his detail now he's got a couple belts on like the old the old Fortnite couple of belts so I'm gonna draw them kind of pushed up because I've got him his legs spread out which are pushing the belts up a little so I'm gonna draw his first one like this and it's kind of connected right here almost like a bow tie like that's where it's connected and then it's gonna it's gonna go this way and he's got a little pouch but again I got that pouch pushed up a little so rather than hang down it's pushed up so that's why I've got it more of a, of a of a funky up angle right something like this this one's gonna go like this and then same thing the one underneath I'm just gonna push it up so I'm gonna do one like this and then up like that and this one again they're kind of underneath so I'm gonna do something like this and let me add a little bit of detail I mean that's kind of the the downside to some of these things is we're gonna lose a little bit of, of trying to put as much detail in because a is so small and B that's a lot of detail <laughs> so I'm just gonna do something like that just to kind of add an edge to it the bottom one not gonna worry about it. okay so now we're just going to okay so now we're going to <sighs> I've got his legs spread out and he's got a lot of stuff on so 
I'm going to draw his crotch down like this, okay? And again, because he's 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 got his legs spread, um, a lot of stress on this material, a lot of bends and creases and folds in this material, but he also has a lot of, uh, or two, um, I wanted to say socket packs, not a socket pack, a holster. Man, sometimes I'm glad I only draw because I can't speak, I'm telling you. All right, there's one here, and then this one's gonna come up like that, and then, uh, I'm gonna do something like this just to start with some edges. And I'm gonna draw like lines in his material because again, he's he's really stretching his his uh his his material, you know, like when you stretch out like this, you are really putting stress on your pants. Okay. Um let's see, let me draw his legs so we see where we are. But he's got like again, he's got like really cool patterns that I want to get right because that's also why I was drawing this, you know, because he's got really cool stuff. All right, and I got his legs super bent, super deformed, so we're gonna put super stress on the cloth, okay? Um, this has like a little connector pack like this. We're gonna say this is the other side. Now, this is just gonna be a holster. That's all it's gonna be. I'm not gonna put anything else there because there's a lot of material here. something like this again just to kind of stress that it's a connector pack again I'll put more stress on the cloth um, let's see okay let's bend his knee let's go ahead and put that in because we got to we got to get the, the 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 meat of it right so he's got um, knee pads on so I'm just gonna kind of do one of these because we're looking at more of a side here, and then stress it way back back here, right? Now, let me see if I can get that right. He's got some material on, wrapped around, so I just kind of want to stress that, and then come down for his uh, ninja stuff here. So he's got like these awesome like uh, shin protector things. Um, on front of him. So I'm gonna come down here for his foot. I'm gonna do some kind of, well not some kind of, I'm trying to draw exactly like they have, their little Fortnite shoe that they gave him. It's a little different than the the other one, like the original one. It's got the, the laces across like that, the little lace protectors, you know? Let me draw some details, because now I'm just kind of jumping around with, with uh, Material. I'm not really giving you the, the the bulk of it, and I can't tell what this is. It looks like it's something wrapped around. So I'm just gonna kind of do this, and then you know we're gonna see with color what happens because it's uh it's mostly black, but again to me it looks like it's some kind of, of material there. Okay, so it looks like he's got the old ninja toe, you know, like two toes right there. All right, cool. Okay, this leg is super stretched out. So I'm kind of doing the same thing there. Again, there's a, a another um, holster he's got over here. So I'm gonna come down here at his arm Add some extra bumps from where the, the holster is going to go across. And I don't know what it is. I can't see because all we have right now are some toy shots. So it looks like some kind of... I don't know what this is. I really don't. It looks like a... I don't know. I really can't explain it. It looks like cylinders. Like this. And I don't know why. So, forgive me. And then we're just going to come back and... And, and fix it up, you know? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna draw his leg down to his knee pad here. 
and then I'm going to draw the knee pad. Again, just kind of making it up because I see what the, what they have there, but I can't really tell what's there. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. And it looks like the material... I have to do that with color because they've got like this like this inseam that goes back like this with color. I can't tell though, it's hard. But anyway, this one's look at the top view anyway, so let's just keep going. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna come down here to his little wrap thing, whatever that is. Again, it looks cool, I'm not complaining. I don't mean to be like, oh whatever that is. I mean, I don't know, so I can only draw so much, you know. But it looks like it's wrapped around his his uh, leg right there. So now I'm going to draw the um, little protector like we did right there. Like that. Down to his ankle. To his shoe. And I'm going to add some detail like I did over there. I just wanted to, you know, get get the get going with the bulk of it, you know. Down to his toe. His old ninja toe. Like that. Okay, and again, now I can add the detail. Okay, awesome. So again, I don't, I don't know. I'm going by toy pictures. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I like drawing the stuff. That's the other thing, you know. All right. Uh, again, there's the knee pad. I don't know. Cloth into. It looks like a black wrap around. Is basically what it looks like. So. Again, I apologize if I'm not getting it right, but we'll find out when we get the toy next year. Can you believe that? Next year. Man, we gotta wait a while. But I'm doing it. I I, I ordered mine. Come on, Hasbro. Get with it. Next year. Come on, man. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Back to what I was doing. Did I draw it with? Yes, I did. Let me redraw this real fast. Not redraw the draw because I want it. I want it the same way, nice and thick. Uh, let me add like a little bit of heel, like we did there. This, like that. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Fortnite. So I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Fortnite Zero Point Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe Classified. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.